do your girl Kia Rap Princess, KRP, representing that 414 down in your area called Milwaukee is a city, if you didn't know. Yeah, that's me. So how you doing today? I'm pretty well. How are you? Feeling like a goat. I'm not gonna lie. I feel yeah. I feel blessed and highly favored. What is that? That's what Charlamagne yeah, said. Yeah. I, I get it. You know, highly favored. You know, you know I'm red. You know, you know, you know you next you can be red. I can't be black. So it ain't that good. Roll off the tongue. Right. But we, we then you here. then you right where you need to be. You know exactly. You know so you know, that's what it do. So, kid, where are you from? Where, you, where were you born and raised? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh shit! Oh, you so, so yeah. So you came up from the mill. You went. You went through MPS and everything. All that. Oh, all that. You know. You're, you're kind of smart for going through MPS. <laughs> I'm not going by. Man. Not talking shit about MPS. I went to hey, Bayview, man. Pulaski. I, it's I a lot of us it. from you know the MPS. You know, Milwaukee. For those of y'all who don't know, that's Milwaukee Public Schools. You know what I'm saying? Makes people so, stupid. Yeah. And I, you know, <laughs> no, but we, but we overcame though. We out here though. Yeah, we all out here though. You see, look, look. Well, what, what schools you went to? I went to Plasti. I went to Bayview. Oh, okay. See. So I was on the south side. I was, I was still the out there though. Bayview. You know, I went to Riverside. Shout out to all the Tigers out there. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? You know, we out here though. You know? So, so um, when you start doing music, what's what's the origins? Who? Now you want to date me? Uh, no, I'm just saying, um, man, I started really in high school, though, like, really, I started, like, taking music serious after high school when I had the opportunity to record with and um, be on a label with Baby Drew. I was under his um, producer, who was um, Logo at the time. They was working on a trio records. So I was, like, 20 years old, 19, 20 years old or something like that. And that's when I started taking it serious or whatever, moved to California. You know, had some things go down with Sony. Came back, did some independent, and just been on the grind. So at least 10, at least a good decade into this, you know what I'm saying? Chasing this here musical dream, you know, and ambition, you know. You also went to Atlanta for a little bit too, right? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Went to Atlanta for two years. Shout out to all my people in Atlanta, DJ the man, you know what I'm saying? DJ E Boogie. Shout out to, you know, all the, you know, King Fresh, everybody at the department store. That's an old actual um, venue out there. That's where I kind of build my buzz out there when I was out there. It's, I don't know if it's around anymore right now, but, yeah, shout out to everybody out there, too. Look at you doing your, your research. Okay, famous. Well, you know we knew each other for a little <laughs> bit now. All right, so I can remember first meeting you at the Uptowner. Okay. And I wanted to do interviews then. And the interview was shitty as hell. <laughs> and then the audio was shitty as hell. But see, you and gotta put that practice in. in. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta do it anyway. So I, I just, I just like, that's why I'm happy you're one of the early ones. Cause that yeah. just proves it going full circle. Yeah, you know for what I'm sure. saying? So Damn, I just, Uptowner, you brought that up. Man, Uptowner, man, that used to be the day. That used you know to be the spot. Hip hop was alive Mo, there. Moses, you know what I'm saying? Mike Croft, you know what I'm saying? The homies. And the homies for real, you know what I'm saying? Everybody out there, man, yeah, man. Yeah, uptime with some of the days, man. So you say you've been doing music since high school. So it's safe to say you have a nice size catalog. Nice. So, um, Extensive. done to your head, what's the best song you ever made? Ooh, that's hard. What, what's the, what's the time? Like, if a kid passed away tomorrow, God forbid. What's the one song no, that defines Kia? That we just gonna say, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's what's your what's My what's the top? Time. Was the reign supreme? I mean, I can't even put them in no order, but like, I would say definitely words and thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That was off of the No Limit album. Um, I would say definitely. Um, let me see. Oh, the game of life. You know, fire video. The game of life. Uh, one of my f one of my favorites that I don't think people even got to like get wind of because it's not really out there like on a digital platform. You got to go like to SoundCloud. But um, I got work. That was like one of my first ones out here when I was doing my thing and building my buzz in my own city and everything. Like the like way you talk about the uptowner days, you talk about the Timbo two days. You know what I'm saying? The smash. That smash with Monte Carlo. Yeah, I got work. Work. So that Most definitely dope. So nice that's time. one of my favorites too. And I got so many though, like, I don't know, like they're all like my brain child, you know, cause that's like from the, that's like from here, that's like your baby, so, you know, but I got my, I got my ones that I go to from time to time, you know, those is like some of the three. 
I would say. So it's safe to say you've done a lot of shows too, right? Yeah, you know, quite a whole a, lot of shows. Quite a yeah. few, right? Quite, quite a few. All right, so what's your top three favorite shows? Top three favorite. Mm, top three favorite shows would have to be uh, anywhere or here. anywhere. Yeah, your just your top moments, your top favorite performing moments. Um, there's a moment on uh, when I was in Atlanta. Um, well, I'll perform for Polo G. That was dope um, because, you know, originally it was like they was only going to offer five minutes, five to seven minutes for the independent artists, like, who was opening up, you know. But they let me rock that bitch for, like, ooh, you know, like 10 minutes, 10, 11 minutes. And I appreciated that. They just, like, the way I was moving the crowd and everything, that just, like, showed me, like, you know, everything. Um, that I already knew, like I could rock arenas. So I could. I've been doing this for so long, or whatever. And it don't matter where you put me, or whatever. Like what artist you put me with, it's like it's just no pressure there. But um, that's one of my favorites. Um, me and Sis doing uh, what was that? Turner Hall for the uh, Radio Milwaukee Music Awards. That's one of my favorites too. Um, we turned up, like, she definitely turned up that night. Um, and just the whole vibe and everything, just to be recognized on the platform for, for that, you know, situation to happen how it was and seeing Radio Milwaukee supported independent artists in the city and seeing how far we came, um, as artists in the city too. That was dope to, like, have that, you know, um, let's see. Um, when I opened up for Future, I ain't gonna lie. You know, because that taught me something. That was at the rave. I opened up for Future at the rave and everything. That's dope. Yeah, you know, that was like one of my first ones. My mom was actually <coughs> was actually going through cancer at that time, you know. So that was something for myself that was like, you know, just to like open up for him or whatever. And he was at the time, I think that was Dirty Sprite or no, I'm probably like, I forget what, which album he had out, but... He was like, it was like right when he first came out. So it was like his big moment type thing. So it was like a lot of people there or whatever. But it just taught me a lot about setting up your own shows and going for what you, what you know on your own. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to get it by myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like with, a, you know, contrary with the people that I had around me, which is mostly like family or people who've been close to each, like even like you, you know what I'm saying? Like we've been getting in. Like you said, how many videos we got in, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. over how long, too. Right yeah, there. You was fucking with me when I was not good at videos. We still got good videos. But, but your was boy good. is not where I am at you now. You know, it wasn't even that you wasn't good at videos. You but know, we you, was coming it's, up. It's seeing your progression now, you know, and that's even with artists. Like, you know, we can look back. Like, I can look back on some certain tracks and be like, oh, where some people would be like, you know, like, that's their favorite one. And I'd be like, man, that ain't it. You know, whatever the case might be. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, but the like, cameraman feel the same way about old videos. Yeah, you know? They're still good. Yeah, They're but as you progress, time. it's a way for you to see how you progress, but though. You know, how far man. you came. You know what I'm saying? I put money, though. My beginning videos were better than a lot of other people's beginning videos. Oh, the I pressure. for sure bet that. Ooh, shots fired. <laughs> 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 All right, so speaking of shooting videos, I remember when you were performing at Summerfest. Okay. And the motherfucker couldn't get your audio right on your mic. <laughs> Could not get the audio right on the mic. And yeah. the kid let him hear it in front of like 300 motherfuckers easily, too. Let him hear it. You know. How is it important for sound guys to get the sound right? Okay, sing. First off, let me play, paint the picture like this. This is what also, like, what kind of, like, made me jump out there. You know, not only just for myself, but you got to understand that this was supposed to be the hometown stage for Milwaukee. And we were behind the, the main music. So that sets the tone right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we already being drowned out. Then you don't have enough courtesy to already have the mics in place. Like, you would never for Tory Lanez. You would never not Facts. have the mic right for, you know what I'm saying, for any other artist on that plateau, you know what I'm saying, or 
you know, who's coming in the city or whatever. But for the hometown artists, y'all just can't seem to, the engineer just can't seem to get the microphones right. Like, I feel like that's just a, like, if, like, if anything, for the opportunity, like, people want you to feel like, Oh, just be thankful for the opportunity. Like, I'm thankful for the opportunity, but... I need you to get my shit right. Get my... Right, this is my moment. You feel me? Like, all that humble... Like, we could be humble all day, but the... You know what I'm saying? The part where y'all show us that y'all really do care. Like, this is really something... You know, whatever the case is, how y'all set us up, you know, in the city. And that's just, like, what I always stand for. Like, just, you know, like, going for what you know, like, deep in your heart, you worth, like... I feel like every artist who came before me on that stage was worth y'all taking the time to, you know what I'm saying, get the microphones right. And unfortunately, I sat there, waited through seven artists, of course, to support those other artists, but I seen them try, you know what I'm saying, be patient, and the microphone's not working. And like, fam, we at the biggest, you know, festival ever. How can we not find we microphones? We don't got time for that. How do we not have microphones? You feel me? We're going to change so, the subject. I don't want you too worked up. No, you don't go find the sound no, guy right now. No, no. It ain't What's even no pressure. Which is Instagram. No, it, it ain't even no pressure. But it just shows you how it could get. Like, and it, and it, you, know, you, you're right, though. This is important it's moments. Passion, and man. it's important moments, too. It's just like we need that shit done right. You got a job because we trying to do our job. Right. You know, no, man, you preaching to the choir. You already know how I now. feel about that. That's all. I just respect the mic. So, um, recently you let Kaylee, Kaylee Crossfire, give you a makeover. Oh man, yeah. I'm gonna take some water. Now. I'm hoping I'm gonna flash the pictures on the screen. I don't know when I do you like that. We'll for sure drop a link to the vlog. Ah, maybe yeah. we won't, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe hey, we won't. Whatever maybe we have to look that one however up. However, y'all want to do it, man. I'm pretty sure they did a lot of those, you know. But how, how, but yeah. how do you like the makeover? Did you like it? I mean, after it all was said and done, you know, and, and it came out to see it all come out and how it was put together, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, something for the culture, for the for the actual supporters of KRP who, you know what I'm saying, ain't really seen me like that or whatever, ain't ever seen that alter ego side or whatever the case. You know, it was a process, you know what I'm saying, in the beginning because, mm-hmm. you know, like, you know, it's like you see yourself one way, but it's like offering yourself to somebody to say, all right, this is what I'm laying it on the table. Go ahead, make me over, like... I feel like you were really a good sport with it. I was. I mean, for the most part. I mean, if I say I'm going to do something, I don't think anybody could say that I ain't never been up for a challenge. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I take a challenge, you know? So, you know, it's the response of the supporters. That was dope, you know? Um, Definitely supporting um, uh, Sis' uh, record, Baddie Alert. So, you know, it's a Baddie Alert. (laughs) Talk your shit, kid. You know? Best of both worlds, so you know, that's just like when you know. Okay, speaking of best of both worlds, is something Shout else coming out, out, or we got another oh, project yeah. working on, or what yeah. we doing? We also um, getting these vlogs together and also working on some things that I cannot, you know, necessarily speak on yet, but we've been listening to everybody talking about how, you know, they like to see a TV show of um, best of both worlds or something like that, so. We try to put together a pilot, you know, right now. That sounds things. dope. Sounds yeah. different, too. We always, like, on something. So, definitely a, a, a lot of best of both worlds coming soon, you know. All right. So, um, I, I'm pretty sure you heard the WAP song. Ah. Uh, the, the, I, I the, ain't the, even. The wet-ass pussy song. Yeah, you know. I've heard, you know, Eric and stuff, but I ain't really necessarily listen to it all the way myself. No. Just, you know, I already know what it's about. Look, and this is my my take on it. Great song. It's been, you know what I'm saying? Like, however, there's, there's a, there's a, uh, you know, a crowd for that. So, I, you know, it's no hate, hatred on, on the song at all. I'm just checking for the other lyrics from those two artists, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything else. And I know they talk about other things, but, it, you know... It's like we, it's like, I don't know. You you hate to sound hypocritical in a sense. It's like to say that it's a lot of it like there, out there, though. Everybody got it, you know. Every song, it seemed like well, it's had that thing for the last couple months. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. I mean, almost the last couple summers. 
So it's like from an artist's perspective, that's where I come from. I respect them two artists definitely for who they are and how they getting it. You know what I'm saying? Getting it on their own and, you know, they lanes that they in. But for me, you know what I'm saying, the artist myself, like, that's what's up. Like, you know, but I ain't really playing it like everybody else playing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, most definitely. So, um, who do you got, Cardi or Nikki? Nikki. So just overall off of lyrics and everything or just Yeah. Cardi right. got more work to do. Yeah, definitely. Cardi got more work to do. She definitely doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh and, you know, setting the bar for this generation of music or artists that are coming out on in her lane. Again, let's let's get that clear in the lane that she in. You know. And I feel like but there were other artists that came along the way that made it possible for each of those artists in those lanes to be able to rock how they rock. You know what I'm saying? So just like how Cardi had her wave, Nicki had hers way before that. You know what I'm saying? So did Remy. Remy opened up the door for a certain females too to come in. Missy Elliott, like all these artists, you see different niches of different artists or whatever the case and different artists that's coming up right now. So it's like you almost paying homage all the way through the timeline, City Girls, like, they ain't nothing new. I mean, that's, you know, uh, Salt and Pepper, you know what I'm saying? Like, Salt and Pepper was talking about what a man, you know, City Girls, you know, real ass, give about it, you know, I mean, it's different times, different ways, you know, different eras made room, and that's how I see. I see different artists in different, you know, eras, you know, so when it comes to the talk about Cardi or Nicki, it's like I can respect them in both eras that they play. Like, I don't feel like this is Nicki's era, and I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? It's like she could be the artist now that just drop a single every now and then, drop a project every now and then because she's Nicki. You know what I'm saying? Like, she done made her her, her niche, her mark. Cardi, she making her way. She, she definitely making her way. But do I feel like she still got some time? Maybe. Like, you know, depending on, you know, everybody got a time and a time frame. So, mm-hmm. I respect the lane. I respect the time. All right, so let's switch it up for the one time. So, what do you got coming out now? For Man, our right kid? now, right now, what people don't know. I mean, first off, we got the game of life. You know, the game of life is out there. Uh, we got, um, I got you, which is uh, kind of like hip hop R and B like record, you know, whatever, smoothed out. And then I got Shark in the Water, which is super dope, produced by Olin Sound, which is a female producer. Um, she out of Georgia right now, but yeah, um, that's a super dope record. I'm, you know, trying to get that video shot by Famous for that one. <clears throat> Making movies. Trying to make movies. They ready for it. They gonna have you to know. get ready for it. Yeah, they gonna have to get ready, so. But yeah, so Shark in the Water then. I'm working on another project. I don't really want to get a title up yet. Oh, you don't got to. You don't let them wait. Let them, let them, let them, let it, let it live on their mind. They, they got yeah, something man. dropping though. I'm working on another project for the people. But you know, uh, what's crazy is like with all the new music that I do got coming and everything. Like I'm seeing a lot of the um, older music or you know older releases kind of like taking shape and taking wave right now. So it's like I'm learning as an artist, like it really do truly take a year to two, you know, for a record to like really catch on and, you know, whatever. So that's even to all artists out there, like just keep pushing those records. Like in your own mind, you'll be thinking and you should like keep creating content, but make sure you like keep pushing those records. You know what I'm saying? You just never know when those is going to take form. Like it's a whole vibe. Like it's the vibe is taking off in certain markets in certain areas, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, I'm just, like, finding out new other other joints, like the game of life, and now it's going to start being in rotation. So, like, even though it's starting in rotation, I know it's going to take a minute for that record to hit in certain areas. So I'm cool with the patience of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like... I mean, it takes time, though, you know what I'm saying? Time. You gotta let it live, and then you you can't give up on a song too early. Like, you gotta no. constantly push it or something. Man, I still love Precision. Like, I still plan on doing something with Precision. Like, I, I think I, I gotta drop a video for Precision. That's off of Do You Keep Elevating, by the way. Go get that. 
Yeah. So that's another project. You know what I'm saying? It's like all this new music as people start hearing new newer music or newer content that I'm dropping, it's making them go and check out the other songs. So it's like I'm actually seeing what people are really tuned in to. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, oh, see, y'all, okay, Precision still getting some shit. Okay, let me go ahead and drop, you know, vid- visual for the supporters, like, and then, like, we live in a visual world right now, so. Did it Wayne just drop a video for a song that was, like, six years old? Man, I, I don't know if that's true, but it was someone like that where they just recently dropped a new video to an old-ass song. Is it? And I it's mean, just like it's just it gives. I, I seen a lot of conversation, and I seen a lot of conversation about it being okay to give old songs a new push. Yeah, some songs deserve you a new push. You just never know. These be the ones we can early. Yeah, and sometimes just it ain't the time. The time is not right for certain yeah, songs. Yeah, certain records. But, but like, sometimes if you push it and give it the right you nudge know, in the yeah. right direction, it can really become something big. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like you wanna. That's why I try not to keep so many yes men around me. You know what I'm saying? When I'm about to release something, like, I try to ask certain people, like, oh, how you feel about this record or what you think about this record, you know, whatever the case. And then you as the artist, too, got your own mindset on how you feeling at the time. So you want to drop something and quote, you know what I'm saying? And kind of like to that, you know what I'm saying? And so I try to, like, keep my supporters and listeners fresh with new music. Like, it's really no pressure on the new music. Anybody can tell you, like, we got we got records coming. Like, so many records. Like, you know. And it's just like, dang, 2020 kind of just put a dent in certain stuff because you want to go out and perform these songs and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Go out and but, live normal life. And- man, so now I'm having to, like, really have to get back to the visuals, have to get back to the, you know, the live streams and learning how to maneuver and push my music and market my music through my to my supporters on that mode. Like, we all on our phone now. We all on our computer. So it's like I got to be more present there too, you know. But I do miss the live performances. I ain't going to chat. Yeah. So last <laughs> but not least, where can we find you at? Man. Um, Instagram at I am Kia Rap Princess, Twitter at Kia Rap Princess, Facebook at I am Kia Rap Princess. That's my uh, supporter page. Be on the lookout for my new um, apparel line called Why Be Normal. You know what I'm saying? That's also the label. You know, I saw myself Why Be Normal Entertainment. You know, so yeah, you get on the lookout for that. Um, oh, Best of Both Worlds. Um, I think that's uh, Both Worlds Duo on Facebook. Make sure you go follow us. You know, and um, yeah, new music and everything. Kia Rap Princess on your favorite platform. Just type in Kia Rap Princess, man. We everywhere. Whatever you want to hear, man. You know, go check me out. Definitely. Much love, Kia. Man, much love. You already know. Salute.